Welcome to Red's Effects, the same show that you can now stream live on Netflix. You can't. Today we are tackling perhaps one of the most used effects in all of cinema, in all of YouTube videos, in all of short films, and probably in all of the videos a guy is making in his backyard with his camera and his nana hole in the tripod. I don't know what the hell that was, but you know what? We're doing muzzle flashes today, as demonstrated now. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're back. Got a new camera. Everything's ready. Anyway, guys, you want to create your own muzzle flash and to follow along with this tutorial, there's a download pack in the description that contains a muzzle flash picture, two, a couple of muzzle flash pictures from a few different angles, a smoke puff, as well as a gun sound just thrown in there for good measure. So if you guys want to follow along or use this in your own short films, you have the resources down below. Just click the link, you can go download the pack, and you can follow along the tutorial. But enough of me jibber jabbing. Get into hit film. Let's do this. Alright, we're back in hit film for express just like last week. So let's jump straight into this. I've got my clip here ready for action, so I'm gonna hit the project window and drag this muzzle flash image onto my timeline. This is the same one that is included in the download pack in the description. What I'm gonna do now is turn it off and start going frame by frame to find the point where the battle of the gun goes up just about to eject the muzzle flash. Here. So now what I'll do is I'll take that muzzle flash and I'll drag it to that point so that it starts at exactly that point. I'll then turn it back on and I'll trim it to last around 1 to 2 frames. All depends on you really, I like to make mine 1 frame. Now this has a bit of a black background and that doesn't look really good now does it? So in order to get rid of that we're gonna hit the effects panel and type demult. I'll then find the demult effect and drag that onto my clip. As you can see at its default settings, it removes all the black nicely. Now to blend the muzzle flash better into the shot, we have to do some color correction like last week. So I'm going to go to my effects panel, hit the color correction and take the hue, saturation and lightness effect and add it to the muzzle flash. Now I'll drop down the master saturation settings and just bump it up a little bit or bump it down a little bit. In this case, it's a little bit down, just so it blends better. I'll then head back to the effects panel, type in glow, and add that to my muzzle flash. I'll then play around with the settings and just adjust it until it looks good. So about here, if you want to copy down my settings, I'll leave it on the screen for a little while so you can just see the numbers and copy those down. Now the muzzle flash isn't exactly in place, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it down, scale it up, rotate it, move it back and forth, just so it makes sure it fits nicely over my battle. This depends on your shot, and it'll be different for each shot. So let me do that quickly for mine. Right, now when a gun fires, it also ejects some smoke, right? So I'm going to collect the smoke asset from the download pack, which is here in my project window, and place that just when the muzzle flash starts. Now, as you can see, this also has a black background, so I'll go back to the effects panel, hit the keying, grab demult, and add that also onto my smoke clip. This also removes the black background. I'll now scale, position, and rotate this just into place, and again, depends on your shot. So now that all our assets are in place and composited on top of each other and rotated and scaled, we have to make it realistic. Now, in real life, if a big light of muzzle flashes was coming out of a gun, it would light up the scene. If I take a torch and shine it on me, it's going to light up part of my face. So to make it realistic, we have to think realistically and create that. So let's create that. I'll hit the plus icon and select a new grade layer. I'll then go to the effects panel, type in brightness and contrast and apply that onto my grade layer. I'll now bump the brightness up a ton and the contrast down a little bit. Again, it depends all on your shot and mine looks around here good. Then what I'll do is I'll take the pen looking tool over here and start applying a mask to areas around my hand and my face where the muzzle flash would light up the area. After that's done, I'll head to my controls panel, expand down the mask settings, go to shape and feather the crap ton out of both those masks. You can then trim the grey layer to last just as long as your muzzle flash does. And that's it guys, we're done. There you have it guys, a muzzle flash. 
and hit from 4 Express. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please look down below. Download package just waiting for you to click it and download it. You know what else is waiting? That subscribe button. Take your gun, click it, shoot that subscribe button, shoot the like button also, not the dislike one, the like one. Um, you can follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram for teasers of next episodes and just keep in touch. Remember, if you have an effect you want to see or anything that you saw in a movie, in a TV show, anything you want to see, so leave it on my Twitter, leave it in the comments, and leave it on Instagram if you want. It gives me ideas for videos and it helps you out for your short films. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.